What is up YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and go over some Tinker's Construct just for my server specifically. Some of you may be very familiar with a bug with extra utilities and Tinker's Construction in which the unstable or stable ingot cannot be used properly to make the tools or weapons or even parts. Um, and what I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, are those that at least are in my server um, is what I did to fix this problem um, and then as far as recipes go, there are some recipes that are not available or that are not showing. I could make it in which it is, but it is not only easier to leave it this way, but it brings just a bit more of a challenge if you want these tools or weapons. So, to boredly begin, <clears throat> I'm just going to explain what the problem used to be. Uh, as you see, I already was able to craft the uh, unstable induced pickaxe. Um, you can do the same for any tool or weapon now. Um, and all you have to do is either take up to your choice you can make the unstable ingot in which you really won't be able to put it into the smell three so in this case you're going to need to make a mobius unstable and sta stable ingot for those of you who do not know how to make it you're going to need uh, the division sigil of... let me just search this one up actually If it will let me actually search this out. There we go. So in order to make the unstable stable, you're going to need to take gold nuggets on top of a division sigil that's activated with a diamond underneath in which you'll get a semi-stable nugget. You need to make as many nuggets to make your unstable stable. Um, from there, you can throw it into your smeltery, and it'll probably come out as being a fluid molten unstable ingot. Uh, once you do so, the script that I will show you here in just a minute or so will now allow you to actually put in any of your casts that are needed and dump it into uh, the cast and let the molding process begin. Now, here's the catch. When you pick it up, it's already counting down 10 seconds of which it's gone. It will not blow up. It will not blow you up. It will not kill you. But we'll, what is caused, or shall I say, what happens, and I will, I'll go ahead and show you by um, making the attempts to do so. This is starting to run out now. Go ahead and do the next one. Let that pour in. And we'll let them all become denatured. Come on. Alrighty. So <clears throat> when they're all, uh, I guess, denatured or um, just dead, you can call it, you can come into the tool forge um, and try to make it. And what will happen is you cannot make it anymore because of that 10 seconds. So basically after 10 seconds, these become nothing but trash. Um, <clears throat> so what you would have to do in this case is if you have a smeltery, you're going to want three casting tables with one of each of the casts that you need, being these two and then this one. Um, you would have to set three of them out and then go ahead and just one, two, three, click, and then pick them all up, run into here, you know, click this, and just shift-click them all into there real quick and pull it out. 
it's very possible as you can see I did so um, that is the challenge part of making so also the next part of crafting it that becomes difficult not only is it time but it's also knowledge um, in a sense you can almost say that if you want these items or tools or weapons uh, it's safe to say that you're going to need the knowledge to know how to do this because if you come in here and try to find the recipes and click R like I'm trying to do at this very moment it will not show me how to do so all it will show me how to do is going to make the uh, parts to do that so I can make the parts it'll show me how to make the parts but it won't show me how to make the tools but with the recipe not being available for how to make the tools there really does not need to be a recipe the reason for this is for those of you getting into tinkers construct by the time you even get to wanting to use unstable slash stable ingots you're going to probably most likely already have a stencil table part builder tool forage crafting station um, and whatever else you need for making patterns and so on well in this case what you're going to need is the tool forge um, yes the tool forge and when you come into here you'll see like just previously to the left part you'll have all these tools um, of course right now the default when you click into it are the what I call upgrade section in which you can put the needed materials and resources to repair or upgrade um, your tool uh, I'm pretty sure this can be done with induced uh, unstable tools uh, like I said this is just for the reason of tutorial I'm not going to go into that so in this case the reason why there are no recipes for this is a I don't really want to sit here and type out lines after lines of being able to sh that recipe to show um, it's can be complicated because uh, there's certain tables that it could go to and it's just more not more easier but it's more convenient if we simply have it to where you'll have to go into the tool forge and you'll have to click whatever you're wanting to use so for me if I needed to learn um, and I made this it's almost common sense you put it down you open it you already see that by clicking on this it's telling me what I already need not only by image but also by the right I guess you know you call it an index would be the correct term and it'll tell you required parts is the pickaxe head a tooling binding or tool binding and a handle um, as you can tell the required or needed parts are organized from top to bottom for everything um, I guess let's click this because um, that's one of the complicated ones it's not just up and down vertically so we'll click the crossbow and it says reduced reload times with harder materials a crossbow is a precise range weapon pretty much tells you what it is so you're not actually being told what you need now this is where the knowledge comes in pretty much in this case it's almost common sense to if you know how to look at an image and go oh hey this is the wrong pattern or this is the wrong cast I need the bigger version of the binding so you know that's kind of like trial and error you know what that looks like you know what all three of these look like so you can really go into your stencil table and look there's the big X um, there's the I don't even know what that was a string or something like that I wasn't paying quite much attention uh, of course you know there's the, the last two parts they're right here and then if I am correct the last part would be just this right here so that right there too it's the easy way to figure that out um, same thing goes for everything else click it look at the shape or read the right area because it might tell you and uh, figure it out from there that's 
quite on purpose. Um, on this server specifically, you'll notice that the unstable induced tools and weapons are almost, if not even more, powerful or can be more powerful than a Staff of Power. The reason for this, if you're familiar with the Staff of Power and or Draconic Evolution, is that the tools and the weapons are all well, reinforced um, or unbreakable. Uh, most of them are unbreakable, therefore they never break. And on top of that, you can then turn around and start adding enchantments to it, start adding materials to it, in which you could upgrade it, um, and to the point where it's faster, and it can auto, and like, it's just insane. It, it goes on and on from there. Uh, therefore, that is why there is an amount in which it's not easy. Um, now, that's really all I have to go over. Uh, for those of you that are interested in how to make the tools or weapons, I will mention that for those of you who are a part of Nova in Genetics, that you will come to find not to say that all of these are banned but there are quite a few things that use unstable slash stable ingots um, and those items are unfortunately not available for players um, that's only due to the fact that some of these give an extreme amount of power to the player and there's a level of which you are playing and enjoying the game and there's a level in where you're at the point of not losing anything and the idea with the unstable is granted it's unbreakable but we have just a limit where we work on bringing challenge to the player to where not everyone can start and be end game by a week later unless of course you played for a long time and you know what to do um, so that is where we're working on with this other than that la the, the last thing I have to explain to you guys is the simple script that I typed out to fix this problem Many people know if you search up the bug that you would have to either use maybe a different version of T Tinker's Construct, which is very unlikely. It's mainly just a different version of extra utilities. Um, you can either fall back a couple of uh, a couple of versions for extra utilities on uh, 1710, or you can run the latest. I've heard that there are multiple bugs. And the same one consists on almost all the versions. Uh, so the best way in my case to fix it was, well, if the mod isn't going to fix it, might as well fix it by creating your own custom ways to do so. Um, of course, copy down the script to where you everyone knows how to do it. Uh, in this case, it would remove that bug in a sense. How I did so was simply use... I'm going to remove that. All I did was go into my server files and since I have mind tweaker I was able to go into where I make my configurations or scripts to add, remove, create, and do whatever the heck I need to with um, items. Uh, in this case I went in scripts, created an unstable tinkers.zs file like you need to and of course I typed it completely unorganized but you will see that it is all removing or, or adding table recipes um, adding it to the smeltery to be able to smelt uh, patterns, adding the pattern let's see what else there is
Alrighty guys, I just want to start off with saying I apologize, you'll notice that I had a weird possible bleep um, within the recording, I had just a little bit of an interruption, um, but to continue uh, with the explanation that I went through, added table recipes, added melting recipes with the uh, the patterns, the, uh, the shapes, all the kind of things that are needed to make the parts, which will allow you to make tools and weapons. Um, this is just a simple exclamation, wow, explanation to let my players in my server know that this is how it works now. It does work, and this is how you have to go about getting what you want um, of that area of the mods. Other than that, guys, this is Riley checking out until the next tutorial or possible video, and I will see you guys later. Peace out. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.